we're back for more Midnight Mysteries. I'm your Gibbs, and we have to deal with this beautiful red parrot up there. We need to catch it and return it to the pirate. We do have cookies, which I think is going to come in handy. But we need some sort of cage to, uh... Yeah, yeah, shh, you be quiet up there. Anyways, we'll get to that in a moment. Let's go ahead and find out what's behind this door here. It's the pirate's room. No, there's a dog over there. That, that must be oh, Bordeaux Mastiff, whatever that is. Now, something was kind of... Yeah, the music seems very quiet to me, but it could be my imagination. Maybe they're just not overdoing it. Like, there's been a few games I've played lately where it's like, okay, the music's just a little bit too overwhelming. Ooh, a treasure map. I like treasure maps. So we've got ourselves also some more Craven coins because we need to make our Craven room super decorated. I have to cut these branches before I can restore the glass. Alright. I guess that's not what we're going to use. Apparently. Okay, so let's go ahead and take care of this puzzle here. So I'm going to assume that that goes... Can we not do this? There we go. Got the dogs correctly. All the stereotypes are represented here. Come on, get in there. <sighs> okay, well, I'll just start with the people then. Maybe these are Persians? I'm not exactly sure what they're getting at here. Oh, of course. That one has a French name, we should go into the French location. Ooh, spider webs. Pruning shears. Hmm. Well, I don't know if they need to be sharpened. Nope. Okay, good. Now let's do some stained glass repair on our dear parrot. Uh, uh Do we have to rotate these or what's the deal here? Entirely sure. Well, that one seems to go there fine. Oh, I see. Okay, got it. Now I understand. I now know what we're repairing. Uh, this head. Do 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 do. A little stained glass. Repair job here. Couple more to go. There we go. <laughs> That's awesome. Screwdriver, I guess. We'll get uh, this parrot out of here, I guess, or whatever is in here. Maybe it's the cage. Yeah, all the screws. Okay, so now I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Hmm. So apparently the order does matter here. Interesting. So if I do this one first, and then that one? Oh, that one seemed to be okay. Well, these two are definitely first. I guess we do up here. Wow. Nope. Huh. Is it colors? I'm not exactly sure what the point of this is. Oh, it looks like that might have actually worked. Nope. Okay, well, I'll tie right up there. And then two more to go. There's the carriage we needed. And there's some music. Ooh, look. There was a code there. 18 out of 56. We still got a whole lot of four leaf clovers to get. Cookies! 
Oh, I need a cage door? That's interesting. So where was that shovel? Ah, yeah, here we are. That poor guy's just in the quagmire there, waiting for us. What's buried here? Buried treasure chest. Huh. It's a pirate. Something or other. What the heck is going on here? I don't know how to, like, affect this. Something... I'm not sure what you want me to do here, game. You could have told me, give me a bit more of a hint. We need to complete and light up the pirate ship picture. The arrows will zoom into the right and left side images. Find all misplaced fragments hidden in each image and then drag them to their correct places. Hmm. Okay. Sure, what you mean by drag them to their correct places? Uh, I think I'm supposed to drag something to where these gears show up. But I'm not sure. It's just so small, I find it really hard to see here. Okay, so where does this go? Okay, with an anchor. Apparently I can't anchor. Oh, there we go. Got you. Got you. Uh, sure, that'll go there. And then this buoy. Oh, it's not even a buoy. Okay, it's a bird's nest. Uh, I don't know where this goes. Something's missing there. Oh! That goes there. Huh. I don't know where this goes. Oh, something else must go there. I don't quite... Something's down there, maybe. Okay. <laughs> Yay! Next. Hmm. So this is a cannon. Uh, need his gun. Sure, what this is. So something's there and something's there. This hot system. Almost finished. I can't find anything that I have to drag here. Oh! Yay! We did it! Yeah! So good. Wait, no Craven coins? That makes me sad. Harmonic bowl. Hmm. 
not sure why we need a harmonic bowl. What? <laughs> Something creepy. Guess we're gonna put this stuff out of here and put it over here. Go there. Yes, I can. Okay. Put that there. Starfish. You go there. Where's the last one? Oh, here it is. Snowshoes? Oh, maybe those are for the bog. Okay. Still not sure how that's going to help us with the dude. We're going to walk out and say, hey there. Ooh, what's this all about? Look for matching pictures. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that's that one. Frog. Frog, frog, frog. Butterfly, butterfly, butterfly. That, that, that. Fish, fish, fish. That, that, that. And last but not least. Whoa, nice fish. Oh, Mr. Turtle rises up. It's a turtle jack. Oh, is that like something to like raise something off when it's broken? And use his head to jack him up. <laughs> that's awesome. And that's it. We have ourselves a corkscrew. No, no, no. I want to open you. Pop goes the weasel. So what am I supposed to do with an uncorked bottle? Yes, the carrot the parrot's cage does go there. But I don't know how that helps me. Well, let's have a look at our map here. Look at that, we are here. And we have activities down here, apparently. So maybe we're supposed to do something here? I can put the music there. And the dagger can go there. Really? Huh. Oh. Apparently vinegar has to go here. Oh, and then this is a harmonic bowl. Okay, and then some uncorked bottle. It makes music! Oh, that's so neat. Okay, so now we have our parrot's cage door. We catch ourselves a beautiful red parrot. With a pirate. With cookies. <laughs> Come here, parrot. We're gonna go talk to Peter. <laughs> I'm just making up that name. Why, thank you. Now we can go rescue the other dude. It's a crash bridge. Looks like he's been shrinking and shrinking here. A quicksand, I guess. Thank you. I'm Washington Irving, an author by trade. I thought writing was a safe occupation. Until my character attacked me, I escaped. But my dear friend Charles wasn't so lucky. One of his characters kidnapped him and dragged him into this book. Please, you must save him. But remember, to defeat that villain, you must call him by his true name. Beetlejuice? Rapunzel? In the literal world in which children have their existence, there is nothing so finely perceived and so finely felt as injustice. Hmm. Ooh, we're now in all 
Oliver Twist. That's pretty cool. Ah, uh, yeah. I can't pick up the metal bird. It's too hot. That plus that gives us that. I hear dogs. Wanted, the gang of juvenile criminals who rob the toy store lurk in the district. The hardened criminal Fagin leads the gang. Kind of cool Victorian era here. I can't get out of Whoa, we're making a mess here. Now I can get out of No. Uh, sure. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, okay. This works. Hopefully. Uh, what else do I need here? Part of the lever is missing. Spring. Get that out of there. Not sure what's missing on the lever. Um, okay, and that's where the spring goes. Ha, <laughs> we're just making it even worse. Reckon it. Well, at least we get that and we get that. That's the important part, I suppose. We have to figure out how to get this out of here. Ah, Mr. Craig the Craven. How about you go for a little fly? Good job. Gas lamp key. That's pretty cool. Oh no, that's Jack the Ripper. Oh my goodness. We're gonna have to open up this. What are we gonna do? Jack the Ripper! Ah! We need to light the gas. Okay, well I don't actually have flint and steel. I'll have to come back to that. I guess I shouldn't be surprised that Jack the Ripper is here. He's kind of well known for the time period. Wait, what? Why did that not work? What? <laughs> this is crazy. How do we... Huh. Interesting. So this was actually right... Except for the second one. So we're looking for one with a V in it. Oh, this one maybe. Oh, it's gotta be one of these two. Ah, uh, this one actually. Nicely done! And his favorite game! What the heck is this thing? Young Agnes gave birth to Oliver in a workhouse. She gazed upon him only a moment before passing away. Aww. That's like super sad. So what exactly is that? I'm not sure what that is. Uh, oh, there it is. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> Again, roll the dice. Nine. Hunger and beatings were the only companions of those growing up in the orphanages. Oh my goodness. Hunger and beatings, wow. Uh, there we go. And 
When Oliver turned 10, he could no longer stand the humiliation and vowed to escape. Okay, he's gonna do it. We're gonna blow the torch his way out of here. Wow, that is quite the prison here. Again. Eddie never had a rough day in his life, living in the lap of luxury. All his desires became reality. Wow, look at all that cake. He gets his own dolly, too. Oh, they're both going to land in the same spot. Eddie was shocked to learn his father intended to leave his wealth to Agnes's child, but only if that child did not become a criminal. Oh, a little entrapment. For five days, hungry and exhausted, Oliver near death. But fate suddenly granted him an opportunity from an unlikely source. Okay. Oliver's savior was a pickpocket named Dodger, who worked for an old man named Fagin. This greedy man took in unwanted children, teaching them the art of thievery. Oliver Twist. Oliver. Come on, help. do I actually have to go all the way to 60? Wow. Eddie sought Fagin saying, make my half-brother Oliver a criminal, and I'll make it worth your while. Hmm. So, being a criminal to make his brother a criminal, I see. Oliver couldn't resist Dodger's offer, but one day, Fagin's orders drove him down a slippery slope, dropping him into the scummy underbelly of London. here. Clinton Steele, hello! I thought we were going to have to do the whole game, but I guess not. 